Good day everybody. Today I am going to be looking at insertions. I was asked by a couple students online to do a video on insertion. Even though I have videos with me inserting graphics, I'm still going to run through it. And I'm going to also show you how to insert word art and how to change it up a bit. The smart art is another insertion, but I'm not going to do that vid a video on that because I have a video where I showed you how to use the smart art to insert graphics, etc. So to help you with that, I would recommend my video on flowchart so you can watch the video i did on flowchart to know how to insert smart art i will be showing you how to insert word art today and like i said run through how to insert graphics again and on thursday which is when my next video will come out i will show you how to insert graphs or charts in Microsoft Word. Before I start, I'm going to remind you to subscribe, like, share, comment, and remember to watch the ads. I am going to start with the insertion of word art. Where do we go to insert a word art? You will have to click on the insert tab. That's the first step. So when you click on the insert tab, you will look for a group called text. So the group called text is where my mouse is swinging, my mouse pointer. Under that group, you will find a text box. You will find explore quick parts. You will find insert word art. This is what we want. When you click on the drop down arrow for the icon, which is for the insert word art, icon you will see several different styles i'm going to click on one and show you what it will look like so when i click on it this is what it looks like you can do a variety of things to this you can change the word art by going under the word art styles group if you don't like this word art you can always click on it and change it to another one say we want to change it to this one I will click on it and there you go it is changed there are several things that you can do where your text is concerned so you can change the color of the text if you desire so when you click on the drop down arrow you will see your color palette and you can always change the color your text to a color that you prefer so say I want to change it to gold I can click on it and there you go, your text is now in gold. Under that, you will find text outline. And this is basically to outline your text itself. So if you want to have another color around the border of the gold, you can click on it and you will have it. Say I want black to be around it. I will click on the color black. And there you go, right around your text, you will see a black outline. Below that, you have text effects. So when you click on the drop down arrow, you can change up your text to have a different look. You can put a shadow on it. See, I'm scrolling through and I'm showing you what it will look like with the different text outline. You can put a reflection, you can put a glow, let me try the glow, let us try this one, and that is what it would look like. You can also change it to a 3D rotation um, look, see if you want to change it, you can always change it, that is if you want to change it. So that's what that one looks like. I'm going to go back to it and we're going to look at the ABC transform. So we can put it in a curve looking design. We could put it in a circular looking design. Um, just about anything you want, you can do so with it. I'm going to try this one. So this is what it looks like. All right, so 
you can change up your word art by choosing one of or several of those word styles icons now I'm going to show you how you can put a color in the background if you want a color in the background we will go under the shape styles group under that group you will find one called shape fill that will allow you to change the color of the background from white to another color let me try green so that is what it would look like you also have shape outline so you can have an outline around the shape so what color would go well with green um orange maybe see so that is what it would look like you can see that it has an orange outline around it yeah you can do a lot of things to it you can always explore you can make the line thicker by going on the weight and changing it to a thicker size there you go we also have shape effects so if you want the background to also have a different look you can always change it to have a different look and i'm going to just click on one just to show you what it would look like all right So there you have it. That's how you go about inserting your word art and modifying it to suit your liking. How do you insert a graphic or a picture, maybe from online or from your computer or a thumb drive or some other saving device? I'm going to show you how you go about doing that. You would click on the insert tab and then under illustrations group, you will find an icon called picture that's where you will also find the smart art under the illustrations group but like I said watch the video on how to insert a flowchart and you will learn how to insert a smart to insert smart art right. so to, back to the picture now you'll click on the drop down arrow and you can insert a picture from the device or a thumb drive or some saving device or you can take it from online so let us try taking it from online so when you click on that you will see the Bing image search engine appear or whatever search engine you use that will appear and then of course you will type what is it that you want to search for say we want to search for a computer I would type computer in the search section and press enter and then it will search for computers online and insert the one that you like so I like this one I'm going to click on it and then click on insert there you go you have your computer there you can resize it by clicking on the corner the round corner of that picture and drag it in to make it smaller if you want to make it bigger you drag it back out outwards you can right click on it and click on wrap text and you can either wrap it in square or tight so that you can move it anywhere you want to move it if you don't do that whenever you're trying to move it it will not move so you have to wrap it in order to be able to move it wherever you want to move it i'm just making it smaller for you all right now i'm going to show you what I was talking about earlier. See, you can move it anywhere you want to move it. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, and don't forget to watch the ads. Thank you guys.